Okay, so let's continue with our SQL. And now we want to add the AC analysis in order to get all the data out. So again, I am choosing a component and I will choose for uh, AC or voltage. Okay, we can use uh, the voltage again. We will uh, connect it uh, through a capacitor to the base. Okay, so the capacitor will be one microfarad. We'll again rotate it so it will be more nicely connected. And I am connecting the source to the capacitor like this and the ground. Now I will go uh, into advanced. I will choose a shine wave offset of one volt amplitude one, one kilohertz and a small AC analysis amplitude will go to a simulate, edit simulate command. I will choose AC analysis, octaves, let's say 20 number of points per octave, start frequency one kilohertz and stop frequency one gigahertz. And then I will press okay, I will put it uh, where I want in uh, the schematic in order to uh, be able to view correct. And now I will do the simulation. And after simulating, I have a probe. I will connect the probe to the antenna with the left mouse click. And here uh, I have a frequency. The frequency, however, doesn't look reasonable. Yes, of course, uh, the coil is not correct. The value is too high. So now I will change the value of uh, the inductor. Some, somehow it uh, got to 10 uh, a micro Henry. Let's put it 100 nano Henry. Okay, and running the simulation again. Okay, and now I can see here the frequency of the transmitter. In order to get the exact frequency, what I will do is a left mouse click, and then I have the cursor, cursor number one. I will move it to the peak, and I have here another window that show me that the frequency is a 58.88 megahertz. Now, if you will uh, remember our formula from the uh, from the other uh, from the lesson before, so I said that when x l is equal to x c, so we have a resonance. So now uh, we can uh, do the calculation ourselves, or we can open a Google and search for a L C resonance calculator, which will do exactly uh, the same uh, the same calculation, okay? So now I can put my capacitor and my coil, which is a 47 pico and 100 nano, and calculate the frequency. So I get here uh, 73.4 megahertz and the frequency here is a little different the reason for the different is that uh, if I will take all the circuit together so the other components like this capacitor and the capacitance of the uh, of the transistor are changing a little the frequency of the carrier Okay, this is how 
I can easily uh, change the component value and change the frequency. For example, in order to change it, I will put a coil of 50 nano Henry and again press the one and I can see that now my frequency is 83 megahertz. I will change the capacitor to 22 picofarad and run it again. And now I can see that I am uh, already near the FM frequency. Again, we'll change the coil let's say to 25 nano Henry and running it again and now I am in the FM band uh, I can see now I am over the FM band it's uh, now away so I can play with the parts and uh, get to the desired frequency uh, that I need Okay, so uh, if the coil is bigger, so the frequency will be smaller. Okay, so now I can see that uh, I am again uh, over the frequency. I will change the capacitor to a bigger one, and now I will be. Uh, I'm near the FM, I will get it back to 47 pico and run it again. And now I'm in the FM band. I can play with the other part in order to make it. Um, I can see now that the transmitting power is somewhere uh, in the 20 uh, dB, which is a lot, by the way which is a very high transmitter, transmitting power, okay, uh, 20, uh, 20, it's about, uh, I can see here, the magnitude is uh, 26 uh, uh, dB, which is a lot, we can also search for a dB2 a power calculator, dB2, power calculator okay and uh, we can get the DB gain which is 27 and convert it and this is a, a set okay okay DBM okay so we can see the power gain. Okay, but I need to understand if this is in a milliwatt or what it is. We need to do the calculation. But again, what the main idea is that I can play with the parts and see how everything is changing. For example, we will change now the uh, NPN to two and two 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 which uh, the parameters are a little different and I'm running the simulation and we can see that the frequency changed a little bit it's now a little bit lower okay so it's a little different also the value of uh, the emitter collector capacitor will also change the frequency of the resonance again we can see it a little up so we can play with the parts and see how things are different also we will be able now to build a circuit uh, in the next lesson i will show how to measure the most uh, relevant components which are the inductor and the capacitor here and from there we will get the transmitting frequency. Okay, thank you for now.